In this video, we will be assembling 24 Sonobe units into what I'm tentatively calling a stellated cube octahedron. And I came up with this, I don't, I don't, I haven't seen anyone else on the internet make this that I, as far as I know, uh, I came up with it in high school and it's really wonky and I never knew it had a name. So this is the closest I can come up with. Uh, if you have a better name for it, please let me know in the comments and I will rename the video to a closer name for this. So we'll start by folding these uh, units into what they need to look like. And this is the same as the um, Pentacus dodecahedron, um, but obviously with fewer pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it so that the flat side is here. We're going to take this tip, we're going to fold it up to the top. And we're going to kind of rotate it. We're going to take this whole little bit. We're going to bring it up like this. And then we're going to flip it all back over. We're going to bring this tip up to here. Okay, and then you kind of have to sort of undo it. So then the finished product will look like this. So I'm going to do a few more and then I'm going to do a jump cut just for the sake of time. So I'm going to flip, again, flip it over, flat side. We're going to bring this tip up to this corner. Then we rotate it, we're gonna bring this little tip up here. Down, and we're gonna flip it over. And we're gonna bring this tip up to here. Okay, then you're gonna kind of partially open it back up so it looks like this. Okay, this will be the last one I show and then I will jump cut. So, right, we're gonna flip it over to flat side, bring this tip up to here. Okay, we're gonna rotate it like this. You're gonna bring this tip up to here. There we go, and then we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna bring this tip up to here. Okay, then we're gonna kind of open it back up and it's gonna look like this. Okay, so now you're going to use the magic of a jump cut. Alrighty, now that you have uh, folded them to the proper shapes, so what we have to do is combine them into pairs to create the points that we will put together. So you're going to take two of the units, like this, you're going to rotate one of them about, I don't know, 180 degrees, and you can see that there is a little pocket here, and there's a little pocket here, that's the same pocket. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this tip, you're going to put it into this pocket, the same thing you're going to put this tip into this pocket here. I'll do this a couple more times so that you'll be able to hopefully see it. Sorry about that, I kind of went off screen a little bit. There you go, so that's your first little point. So now we have to, we'll keep going, I'll do a couple more and then I think I'll jump cut again. So same thing, there's your pocket, so you're going to put the flap into the pocket, paper's slippery today, and then you're going to put this flap into this pocket. Oop, if I can get it, if I can actually get it in. There we go. There we go. And you can see I like to kind of fold the little, the remaining flaps like that, so that it'll pop out all nice. Yeah, I think I'll do one more, and then I'll skip ahead to having done all these. So again, I'm going to put the flap into the pocket and put the flap into the pocket and bring the extra flaps kind of on top and pop it out so it'll look like that. Okay, time for jump cut number two. Alrighty, so now we have all 12 points and now we get to do the fun part which is oop, assembling them. So you'll notice that on each piece there is a little flap right here and here on each side. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two points, you're going to take this flap, and you're going to put it into this pocket. And these will go together in groups of four and groups of three. It's not going to like doing the group of four, but you just have to show it who's boss and do it anyway. In this case, however, these two, when they came together, are going to make a group of three right here. So again, we will take, see the pocket, and we'll take the flap and put it in there. 
then we will put this flap into this pocket like this. There we go, so we have our first group of three. And so now this will create a group of four, this will create a group of four, and this will create a group of four, as far as I know. So let's find out. There we go, so flap and pocket. And now we have one, two, three, so we're gonna get our last one. There we go. So now you actually have to put these together. They look like they want a fifth one, not in this video. So we're gonna make it do what we want and it's gonna look like this. <laughs> Looks kind of funky and I like that. So now we're just gonna keep going and finish doing that. This looks like it'll be a group of three. So let's find out if I'm right. It is. Look at that. What you might actually have to do is take your group of four and it's gonna wanna have, it's gonna pop out a little bit like this. That's the only way I've gotten it to be uh, somewhat stable. Okay, so then we'll make another group of three over here. This. There we go. And now you see there's one, two, three. So it needs its fourth piece. We go, one, two, three, four. Now we have to, whoop, it did not want to do that. So we're going to have to make it do what we want here. Like I said, the paper does not like doing this, so you just have to show it who's boss a little bit. So yeah, it's gonna pop out. You might have to actually mush it them a tiny bit to flatten them out so that they'll cooperate. But yeah, so we're part of the, we're part way there. This is gonna be so funky. I'm excited. So now you see there's two. We're gonna finish the group of three. Like that and there. See already now it's starting to flatten out because it's going. Oh, you're making me do this. Oh, okay. So if you want to help, you can actually kind of squish the unit slightly when you stick it in. But see, this is our next group of four. Oh, it's starting to fall apart a tiny bit. It's okay. I saw someone in the comments of one of my other ones say that they use a bit of glue on some of these to keep them together. That might not be a bad idea here, but again, we'll kind of we'll kind of find out here. So oh, okay. So here's another group of three that we haven't combined yet. There we go. Here's a group of three. That will close off here. And here's a group of four now, so we can finish that off. And now you can see we have space for our final. And actually this is gonna be, yeah, this will be two groups of three and two groups of four at the same time. There we go, so there's our group of three. And just like that, very carefully, is our final, oh boy, it doesn't like that, our final group of four. And with that, our stellated cube octahedron, or whatever this actual shape is going to be, is complete. There we go. Look how funky that is. I think of it as a mutant cube. Because if you look at it from the side, it has, you know, it's like taking a square and crushing it. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six crushed square faces. But if you look at it from a different angle, see, there's the square. And what I like is you can set it on its square face so it looks like that. Or you can set it on its group of three face and it'll look like that, which I think is really neat. So, yeah. That, and that's about it. If yours doesn't look exactly like mine, that's okay. It might even look better, who knows? And if this is your first time making this, I'm sure it looks great for your first time. And as always, thank you so much for joining me.